And away we go. Game two here in Asbestos of three. They already tipped people up, didn't they? We missed that on stream, but FNG got tipped a bunch again. Poor little Grimstone. Not sure why. Like, well, <laughs> what is the reason? Well, is it love? Is it hate? I, I feel like it's hate because in the lobby, FNG... So the, the admin, you know, asks first pick or side, Cyber Legacy, you know, they, they make their choice, they take second pick, and FNG asked which side did they choose? What did they choose? And the admin had to tell he him he all has all. them all yeah. muted, Lacoste. So I feel like there's yeah. a bit of bad blood or something, or he's just a bit, you know, triggered by all the tips. He has muted them all. What did you learn? Fancy runes. Contest top from Cyber Legacy. The bot lane looks a bit spicy as well. Illuminate. As the ink swell from FNG will be able to secure up at least one of them. Meles and Excess Vampire pairing up pretty decently, but two for two. You know what would my dream lineup look like? What players? No, hero wise. Is it all like green? Vi Venter Vivern, Viver, Viper. Anything else that I pronounced uh, weirdly? I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. Anything me. with W, pretty much. Anything with W. Look at this little pull from GPK, by the way. He's dragged the creep wave all the way back between his tier 1, tier 2, so he'll be able to safely farm without taking all that right click harass damage out from the Necro. But look at Happy, equally also in a very good spot to uh, keep right clicking GPK, so it's not as easy as maybe he would have liked. You have been denied. Bottom lane, I've last hero this... nearly died. Holy shit. I've seen this lane a couple of times. You have Nex Assassin. I mean, Nex Assassin just missed. He wanted to pull the... <laughs> and Bignum <laughs> tips him. He missed. Wanted to drag the creep wave behind the tier 1 and tier 2 tower. And he was late by like 7 seconds. It's tip 40. You missed the first blight, didn't you? Yeah. I really didn't expect a level 1 Cottle and a level 1 Ember Spirit <laughs> to kill each other. And GPK getting first blood there. Now, I was looking up top of what you were talking about with the Nyx Assassin. I'm going to I'm gonna blame you, actually, for that one. It's definitely your fault. <laughs> yeah, this lane really not a killer lane. You can put some pressure. Timber so is self-sustainable offlaner. A bit harder when he's laning against the bat. So Nyx Assassin can make a rotation. But where do you rotate? That's my question. Like, you can't just come on a mid lane, try to land a stun. It's one of the worst spells to cast. Do? It always feels like it's shorter than you think. And it's a Necrophos, so he can't set things up for you. A lot of pressure onto last hero bottom as well. Inkswell just being spammed out. Uh, uh... Dream giving chase. But Dragon Blood level 1 sustaining him up pretty nicely. Ember 7-3, 9-3 on Pikachu's Necro. This is the trouble with this lane, right? Necro just right-click, 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 right-click. It is this... incessant. Yes, this matchup was a disaster for Ember Spirit. I've seen Ember Spirits like level 3 being forced to go jungle when Heartstopper Aura was pure damage. Mm. But it's still a Necro favorite matchup, even though GPK got free first blood so he already has a bottle which is gonna make his lane much easier oh, vampire looking to pull across again up top the troll gets a hit in nice little play as timbersaw contesting big numbs bat rider pull not getting the cs he wanted though the weaver a little bit behind on last hits compared to the other team We'll be able to come in and deal with this large camp. There's Vampire and Meles. I'm a little scared of that Bat Rider now. Level 2. Gambit okay. doesn't ha I mean, we're in here for a treat. Gambit actually has heroes that can dive Fountain 30 minutes in. Once again, Timbersaw, Phantom Lancer, Ember Spirit. They can just zoom in. Yeah, and win the game by diving fountain. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That didn't No, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Chains under tower, but GPK really struggling now in this lane. In Flame Guard level 2, Magic Absorb 220. And then we've got 80 damage out of the Death Pulse. 
Does does Heartstopper tick down the Flame Guard? Radiance Middle Tower. Like little by little. That's a good. That's a good question. I feel like it, it does. It should, since it's magical damage. Yeah. yeah. Good slight chains secures him up the arcane rune. Might have to pop his stick here though. Taking a chunking from Pikachu. Heartstopper still ticking him down. He'll uh, hold on to it. But it's not great for GPK now. Difficult to return to lane. Palantimos catching up, leapfrogging up to the top three of the CS now. Well, now I know why his name is GPK after that last throw they did in the previous game. GPK stands for Gambit playing Kek W. That's what it stands for. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing my impression of the Kek W guy. Man, that laughter. Whenever I watch that video, if, if, if you've not seen it, guys, honestly, go do it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, it's like a South American TV show or something, right? And the guy just absolutely cracks me up. He just has one of those wholesome, genuine laughs, you know? It's it, it's a laughter from the heart. You can barely breathe. Timbersaw really just sticking in this lane. And you were saying Nick's Assassin can kind of roam around, look for other options. He might just come and grab this outpost. He's, he's warded up, swinging in towards mid. Maybe. You know, Pikachu's here. Three one charges, Fairy Fire. Has hit level six, though. GPK with uh, three points in Flame Guard might be thinking about a move onto Pikachu. And it does also open up top lane. Timbersaw now left alone, but he's got Salve, 14 Wand. Nothing really bothering him. Now, DK's playing a carry, like a mid from the off lane, while Necro is the off laner who's going to build the auras. Uh, three man rotation on the mid lane. If yeah. Nyx gets a stun, it should be a kill. It looks like it will be. And there it is. Vampire making that rotation in, and FNG getting the job done. Pikachu completely caught with his pants down. And two to nothing going to Gambit. And GPK also snipes out a courier. Happy getting the tips. Stun up top. Carapace into Impale. Fat Rider. No HP regen here for him. Palantimos is going to come in with a swarm and a few punches. That Timbersaw is pretty unstoppable in that top lane for now. He might even just force Cyber Legacy to fully retreat away. I was always wondering why Viewer has such a high base damage for a ranged hero. I was laning the other day against Viewer and 70 damage, like what? Well, the attack animation is pretty hard, right? It is. For CS wise, anyway. Last hero, very tanky. No real kill threat on him anymore. So Dream's going to chase down Happy, force the blinding light. But the focus is now coming pretty heavily into mid. Excess Vampire just sticking around nearby this Necro, who does have a high ground ward on his side of the river. Doesn't spot out the Nyx just yet. And GPK, I thought this lane was much worse. For the Ember Spirit, he's not died. He's got that, you know, he got that first blood for sure. He got the kill, actually two kills. One of them was first blood. If he didn't get that, it would be such a hard lane for him. One of the reasons why they just lane Necro against him. So far, Melis doing a good job, not being contested. You can't really kill him with Weaver and Batrider. Weaver is level six. They need to focus down next assassin. Problem is, both of them have 20 stick charges. Yeah. Eight stacks of napalm, though. Nine. The damage is good from Big Num and Palanzimos. Melas. Unable to get out of there. I wonder if he just started chaining away earlier on. If he used the chain, there's no flame break to stop it. He could have just ran away. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gary. I think No, I think you're right. That's what I was wondering too. If he just committed to the escape, he could have gone, but he wanted to get a bit more damage and trade a little bit. And he got all caught up as bottom lane, last hero. Stunned up with the Inkswell, but again, it's a Dragon Knight. He's got level point, uh, level three, breathe fire. Two points in Dragon Blood. He stops all your damage. Was that spell called Breath of Fire before? Before. Before? I don't think yeah. it, I don't think it, I think it's always been breathe fire. I used to get it confused with dual breath from Jakiro a lot. 
May I, I don't know. You might be right, but I don't think so. Go look it up. Go find. Go look at the patch logs. 6.32b. Change Dragonite's Breath of Fire to Breathe Fire. Well, you looked it up. I don't have to now. Bollocks, did I? <laughs> I, I know you did not. <laughs> oh, Cottle's got some big stacks here. I'm not sure who's exactly going to be taking them, though. Ancient's not easily cleared by the dire side. As GPK inks well onto the DK. Last hero going to get found out by the Ember Spirit. Another remnant. The Flame Guard going. Has he got another chains? Two seconds time. That Breathe Fire is doing so much work. But the magic damage will be enough to gather themselves that kill at long last. PL. Kind of relegated himself to the jungle now. Almost 10 minutes in, net worth wise, looking pretty even. Necro yeah, when you find in the front. Iron Talon, you want a jungle. You want to also kill the ancient stack. Ember Spirit. Should be a kill on the Cottle here, but the Invis rune, Pikachu. Unable to stop GPK from just diving around near these ancients. So he scouts out the stacks, gets the kill on Cottle. Pikachu did shovel up an extra bounty run in there, which is always nice. Taking some bonus gold from those PL illusions too. But a, a, a completely different game. Like, it's so slow compared to game one. Everyone is very focused on farming. Wait for it. Wait for it, uh, man. Uh, uh, the okay. game was also uh, not fast. The previous one, we had Spectre, but then suddenly, boom, GPK strikes and the rest of the team into the fountain. <laughs> I mean, you're saying wait for it, and then a pause comes. Now we have to. <laughs> now we have to wait for it, Lacoste. God damn. So Necro Greaves, pretty standard, going into the auras you were mentioning. Tranquil's wind lays for the Bat Rider. We'll see if he decides to slot in a drums, or if he goes for Blink or a Four Staff or something on the support Bat. Two K net worth. Pretty good for Big Nump. What's the Weaver build this game? Is it is it Diffusal? You're playing against BL, so you want to have some wave clear as well. Deal with the illusions. Uh, I'm not sure how greedy it is to get like Diffusal and Maelstrom. You might get Diffusal BKB so that you can fight and then build the Maelstrom, but it might be too slow. So he needs to decide whether he wants to burn the mana on Ember and most importantly Timber Saw. Or he wants to. What is what's happening? What if we go back in time and we buy Hood Radiance? We get Hood time Radiance. Lapse. Time lapse and get Hood Radiance on Weaver. I I kind of miss those days. Hood Radiance Weaver was one of my favorite builds. No boots, no wraith band, no nothing. Hood Radiance, literally, that's it. And Raddy's pretty good against PL. I'm just throwing it out there, but I guess Necro is in, or DK, much better carriers of the Raddy if you want to go that direction. So it's probably Maelstrom. I think he might be right, you know? Yeah, I'm leaning towards Maelstrom. It increases your farming capabilities. And you can upgrade that with Mjolnir after. Very true. Necro just got the point in Ghost Shroud. Like, he does not want to... I guess he did not want to get that earlier against the Ember Spirit. Triple Remnant, bottom lane, Dragonite. <laughs> Seven rock charges. Oh, I've still got 500 HP. Come on, keep chasing me, keep chasing me. The blinding light. Oh, hello, GPK. Dodged it with a slight of fist. Finally slays the Dragon Knight. Mid lane going fine. Top lane not so hot, though. Well, oh, it's far too hot. As the Timbersaw burnt alive inside his suit of armor. And Dream's getting hunted no by Paul Antimos. Doppelganger now back up. Weaver not opting for the dive. And mid lane tier one shoved by Pikachu with the catapult. He can keep this alive. He's got Mech, Sal, plenty of sustain. Next Assassin unable to Healing stop it. Sal, Royal Jelly, one of the better ones. You can get the Necro, increase regeneration. One more hit will secure the tower. Also, Viewer got the second point in Royal Jelly. She also relies on having any kind of mana HP region in the laning stage. PL playing in that more difficult lane up top. Able to get away from danger if the rotations do come. And it looks like Cyber Legacy considering this Elder Dragon form to try and take this bottom tower now. Pikachu. Now will... he's saving it for game three. 
Huh. We did not see a single Elder Dragon form. Uh, we'll see one in a second, surely. They're bringing numbers down here. Happy is so close to level six. He'll blindly light them back. Meles, that chain forward. Another remnant looking for last hero, but the Batrider arriving 20 seconds until that lasso's off cooldown. And Necro giving chase to FNG. We've we got Reaper Scythe here. Yeah, throw it in onto the Grim Stroke. Slay him. Six feet under FNG now, and they do force the other two cores away from the tier one. The objective should be claimed by Cyber Legacy. As Phantom Level Lance six up hero. Top. Dead for 40 seconds. Thank you, Ice Frog. Reaper Scythe. What, a, what an ability. Remember when you could not buy back? Oh, I remember. Buy back with Aghanim Scepter. I remember, Man, that, was, that was the most broken thing in Dota. I'm like, not even kidding. Dead for two minutes. Great. <laughs> so dumb. Illusion rune for GPK. He is going for that Spirit Vassal that you called for. Uh, and already done. Hmm. It's not going to be that efficient. Pikachu already has full Guardian Greaves on Necro. So he can dispel it. I want to see one extra item to dispel. He can also build a Radiance. He can transition into a core. Stunning up the Necro. Stroke of Fate there, but excess Vampire. All on his lonesome while the Weaver chasing FNG. The two supports about to get picked off. We do have a stroke of fate and a nice slight chains from GPK keeping FNG alive for now. And they're not diving. I thought they'd really go for that one. You kill off FNG, you know, you chop off the chop off the head of the beast. Still sticking around in that radiant jungle, but they've left this Phantom Lancer completely alone for the past couple of minutes. Good Chakram to scout out any TPs, any reaction. Not coming from that direction. Oh, Korea. Miss on the Geminate attack. Sad times. We'll be able to get a double damage rune, though. Happy times. Dire Observer Ward scouting FNG. Going to get de-warded immediately. And Palantimos, yet again, just holding back. Very patient. He is going for that Maelstrom to deal with PL and the Illusions. It's also... A lot of extra damage. Nice will always. Happy saving the life of Pikachu. And now they turn. Ink Swell's down. FNG focused with that double damage. He's still going. Palantimos wants the kill and he'll snipe out FNG's Grim Stroke. He's gone. Can they chase for additional targets here? GPK Flame Guard is about to end. Excess Vampire with a two man stun. Still with 21 charges here, Pikachu. And a salve. We'll be able to bail away. Slight chains. Hold him in place for a second longer. Go Shroud into Greaves in five. And then you've got to be careful, Radiant Side. Don't want to commit up onto this high ground, surely. This is too dangerous for you. Slight. With the chains, we have a Necro caught. Good two man stun. But in comes the lasso. And you're going to lose your Nyx Assassin here for free. Reaper Side secures the kill. As GBK remnants in with the Ink Swell. Catching two. Cottle falls. Pikachu running out of sustain. But another Death Pulse will keep him happily alive in this fight. And once more, they force back Gambit. A one for one exchange. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Dragonite was just farming. He's still deciding which item he's gonna go for and can play with the team. I want to see some someone building Radiance this game. It's not gonna be Weaver definitely, but Dragonite could build one. Not necessarily now. You can get like Blink Dagger into BKB, then switch to Radiance. That's why I was wondering if he wants to gamble a little bit and go straight for Radiance without picking up a Blink Dagger if he thinks that this game is going to be slow. Oh, Nether Shawl Timber. Loves it. Good luck. <laughs> Try killing him now. Grove Bone Necro. Also pretty pretty good. He sends it back. Is he going to give that to the Weaver? Yeah, Maelstrom Grove Bow. That's a real nifty combo. DK blinking across to clear out top wave. Gambit all gathering up here, though. Very aggressive shift into the dire jungle. Deep Ward scouting out for last hero and anyone else nearby. Weaver not able to come to this fight straight off. Does have a TP to land on the outpost. A tool to teach. Ring of Aquila picked up. Some nice tier 2 items for Cyber Legacy. Imp Dragonite, cheap damage. And as you mentioned, Grobo. Extra attack range on Weaver also going for 
what's it called Dragonlance. He might switch to BKB if needed, so buying Golgara Axe is always fine. Smoke. I want to see Dragonite using his ulti. Hell yeah. That's what we've been waiting for. It looks like Gambit are retreating, though. They feel something's changed. Cyber Legacy immediately thinking about going down to the bottom outpost. They want the Timbersaw mid. They've got a couple of stuns here. Lasso after Dragon Tail, perfectly timed, and Meles. Another Dragon Tail stun. Oh, Lower yeah. Lower down with Chakra. Very nicely done. I thought that chain would get him away just fine, but you're right, that call. And they do get that Chakra Magic double Dragon Tail. Dream, just trying to doppelganger away. Next assassin trying to build into Yule Scepter. Farming alone down I bottom. I was talking about the Radiance. That it's always a double-edged sword when you're playing against Nyx Assassin. Easy to pull Carapace off. Spirit Vessel completed on GPK. Necro has one way to dispel it. Guardian Greaves. I also want to see something else. Like Lotus Orb on him. Gambit feel a little bit lost. Oh, Blink Bat. Massive initiation available now for Cyber Legacy. Once that lasso's off cooldown in 30 seconds. And the way to find yourself in Dota 2 games, if you're feeling a little behind, is smoke up, shift that momentum with a pickoff. It sounds easy. Sometimes it's not that easy to execute. It's easy for us, you know. We see the full map, who is going everywhere why didn't he do that you don't see him that's the problem where did they go what's the vision like from gambit it's pretty decent on the north side of the map and a couple of heroes showing on lanes now is it smoke time for the dire team two being held by the keeper of the light looking to deward this triangle area and they've got double blinks ready to go. Necro's showing on mid. Smoking behind him. <laughs> Leaving the kobold there as he doesn't want to pop out of smoke. Happy's like, oh, I'm a shovel a bit wasted, but whatever. We'll, we'll come back and deal with that little bastard later on. We'll jump the timber sword for now. Here we go with the lasso. Last hero, Dragon Tail 1. The Chakra Magic not coming just yet, and they don't need it. With that Reaper Scythe, they secure the kill. The Blinding Light pushes Excess Vampire back, and GPK struggling to stick on any targets. He's just going to run. He's just going to run up the ramp, get out the stairs, and then jump in again. Last hero, Blink Stun, catching FNG. He'll ink swell all he wants, but he will fall, and a double kill for your Dragonite now with that Elder Dragon form going. Lacoste level 2 now, and a tier 2 to boot. Keeper of the Light, this is where his strength comes from. Lowering the cooldown on any abilities of your allies. We've seen how strong it is, Keeper of the Light and Terrorblade, since you can't use Chakra to lower the cooldown of the ulti, but TB's meta, that's actually his ulti, so you can keep spamming on him to lower the cooldown. How many bounties? Is that one, two... Yeah, I don't know, I see it like seven... Eight bounty. <laughs> I don't know who picked up which one. Some of them were GPK bottled. GPK got two. Excess Vampire got one. And Big Num got... I mean, wait, wait, hang on a second. No, that can't be right. I don't know. I give up. My eyes are hurting looking at all the bottle, pickup, bounty rune. Blah, blah, blah. Chat will know. They'll read it and absolutely 100% know. Into the Roshan pit we go. Meles. Trying to tank it up for the Phantom Lancer. All those illusions doing a good job, though. You can see Cyber Legacy just falling back a little bit. Look at them holding the high ground. They know they have no Will Wisp, no Reaper Sight. Dire using a scan. This is a slow Roche. They, they can get there in time. It is, and there's the Blink Lasso. In. GPK getting Perfect caught out. Target. Good carapace. Where's the chain stun? Not coming. They blow up Big Num. Roshan still at 1300 HP. The buyback from the bat is last hero. Jumping into battle. The focus on the Cottel. Melis, Timbersaw chaining away now. Back to safety. As both teams looking to try and reset on this high ground. Gambit on the run though. 
The aggression not going their way as they finished off Roshan, losing GPK. But Aegis in the hands of the Phantom Lancer and the buyback from Big Nub. Die back from Big Nub, but the Will O Wisp down. Beautifully placed. There's no way to focus it, but Melas and Dream, they do escape off to their tower behind the objective and hide away. Grimstroke from the tree line. Spamming out that stroke of fate. The Dragon Knight takes the Aegis and a two man stun. But the sustain from Pikachu, he's full HP. Dream, he's going to deal with this Ghost Shroud. The Phantom Brace comes out after. The Ghost Shroud from the Necro, happy down. Palantimo stunned up the Shikuchi into Carapace. Yeah, He's got a wand, but he can't time lapse. Base. Gambit, take down four heroes. Yes, the Aegis is expended. But Gambit looking very good as they retreat back to their tier one, hide in the tree line and really using the terrain to their advantage. Problem is these mana burns are starting to kick in. Two points from Excess Vampire, Diffusal Blade on PL, who already has a Manta style. They got the Aegis, they used it correctly. Those BKBs will be crucial on Cyber Legacy. Weaver with a very greedy build, Dragonlance and full Mjolnir, so she's not going to have a BKB for another like six, seven minutes. Yeah, a long time. Necro is going into that Radiance, saving up a lot of money. And you've been talking about that kind of, you know, wasted net worth, right? Necro at 12.8k, but three and a half thousand of that is stored up in offshore stocks. Oh. On those Cayman Island bank accounts. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? Hey I am <laughs> if you had a lot of money, would you put it on Cayman Island bank no. account? No. no. I, I, I believe in paying my taxes. <laughs> now I'm getting a call. Hello, this is IRS. Is Dominic at home? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> well, what would your fake name be? Hi, I'm Bob. Yeah, you got the wrong number. Like, uh. this is Vandalay Industries. I don't know who Dominic <laughs> is. Pikachu. Changed up. Immediately grieves and pipe. Get up onto the high ground and hold the triangle. Happy. Will the Wisp in four seconds and a sustain here with a soul bind forward. They're trying to turn around. Down goes Double Vampire, but Cottle follows through. No Will the Wisp dropped, and the Necro needs to back away with Big Numb. They were chained up for a little while, but there's Timber Saw shredding through Pikachu. Find the chains onto Palantimos. Weaver still with no BKB, like you were mentioning, and they're just going to get hounded by Gambit. Another massive team fight for the Radiant side, and they might even go for more. Ooh. GPK didn't get the slight chains. He just got the chains on the ground. All right, now, Phantom Lancer is staying one step of Weaver. She does not have a BKB, can't deal with Mana Burn, and has a Basher. Even if you get a BKB, you're still in trouble. But Cyber Legacy did a good job going for the perfect target there. Nyx Assassin, he needs to die so that he doesn't get the Carapace off. All these heroes have a lot of... Uncontrollable damage, Firefly, Swarm, then you have Necro using his heal, splash damage from Dragonite. They definitely need BKB to fight. And Gambit knows that, so they're gonna keep fighting. Uh, there's no way to deal with this PL now, it feels like. Basher up, solo killing Big Numb at that bounty rune spawn up at top. Phantom Rush into Bash. An Orb of Destruction for your Weaver, pretty good. It's nearly Abyssal Blade for Dream at this point. Timber Saw's tanky enough to go in front line. Ember Spirit has that nice in and out play style. Trying to bait with an illusion up front. I don't believe Cyber Legacy will fall for it. Cottle with Necro just up on their tier 3 high ground. They don't want to go force a fight. DK is closing in on BKB. Weaver does finish off the Mjolnir. Still a pretty distant journey towards magic community for him. And tier three for Gambit. I just honestly don't see a great way for Cyber Legacy to stop this. Firefly there from Big Numb. Flame Break to try and clear illusions and the creeps, but a new wave with Catapult arrives. The siege engines of war come knocking at your door and Cyber Legacy, who's gonna answer? Is it Vandalay Enterprise again? Lacoste, knock knock, who's there? <laughs> they lost the tier 3 tower, also nice use of pipe to keep their creeps alive from Keeper of the Lights Illuminate. Uh, it's only level 1. 
We were farming her BKB. Still far, far away from it. Next Roche may respawn in ah, three minutes. They lost Aegis pretty quickly. Phantom Lancer level 20 with the full Abyssal Blade. He can lock down Necro easily. Telescope for the Dire Team coming out. Tier 3 items flowing through from these neutral camps. Cyber Legacy, though, still afraid. Of the initiation of Gambit. It's assassin on the hunt. He breaks the Yules. On Dragonite. Last hero, BKBs. Ex Vampire holding onto his stun as Dream so easily clears through the Keeper of the Light in the back lines. Palantimos and Big Nump trying to shove out the wave down bottom into the tier two. It seems straightforward. The steamroller of Gambit is here. And on. I, do I jinx? Yeah, unless they go diving into Fountain again, I don't see a way of them losing this game, Lacoste. I have to agree, Gary, but you never know what uh, can happen. You never know. Two-man chains. Dream just focusing buildings much more systematic. FNG's had a word with his calls. They do make the jump now into the Necro, and Pikachu is blown up with no buyback available. Dead for 50 seconds, still working on that ratty. And the full lane of barracks dropping. No way to shift into another lane, though. Tier 2s are still standing. That's what's being signaled out here by the Necro. But they've got themselves a soul, soul bind. The lasso drags back Dream. And he's got Lotus Orb up on him. Manta to get away. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is pretty good under the Tier 4s, but it's just not a team fight win here for Cyber Legacy. They've lost the big numb bat. And this poor Dragonite, he's popped his BKB, he's got massive wings, he's shiny, he's golden, but he's about to fall if they want to commit on him. Timbersaw's like, nah, we'll let him go. We'll kill the Cottle instead. <laughs> Front line, barracks. Keeper of the Light, coming to your pubs. Don't pay attention to this. Yeah, I believe this game is over. Necro needs another like thousand gold to finish off the Radiance. Weaver is getting closer to BKB, but against the Bissell Blade, it's not going to be that efficient anyway. And once Phantom Lancer makes a jump, it's a guaranteed kill. They have no saves. Yes, you can try to heal with Necro, use Guardian Greaves, but Phantom Lancer at the moment dishes out too much damage. And now they want to try and secure that top part of the map. Top tier 2, Roshan, high ground. Very, very pr high priority objectives here. Gambit wants to try and grab for themselves, and it looks like Cyber Legacy swinging down south. Trying to make the most of things. Get an outpost, get a tier two. But they've got to be so careful coming out of their base, especially when they're kind of straddled across the river. They're all isolated. He's going to get caught by GPK. Annihilated. Listen, yeah, listen. he adjusted his skill build properly oh, no. this game, I would say. No, what? Blinding light. No, full BKB died for Palantimo, oh, so that no. means three minutes without it. That means game over. That was their one chance. Yeah, let's go back to Keeper of the Light. I want to say something positive about him. So, minus three seconds, blinding light cooldown. And he maxed it out. With Chakra, you can like perma blind people. Great against PL and the illusions. And here it comes, PL. They've got the chain stuns and the soul by now. Pikachu, is he dead without buyback again? He is gone for a minute. And Dragonite, even though his BKB is up, he just can't focus on anyone. There's too many illusions, too many things in the fight that he has to deal with. And a jump in from GBK the forces light. the Will-O-Wisp, but the two-man stun from Excess Vampire surely closes this game out as GG is called. Big Num taps out and it's 1-1. We're going to game three. It's been a hectic series back and forth, but Gambit, much, much better play. No mucking around, no fountain diving and really showing 